the Covenant. Before this theocratic government was defeated, it housed a wide range of species that followed its teachings. From the hive-minded drones, to the monstrous hunters. But today, we are going to be revisiting the fastest of the Covenant. We are going directly into the lives of the Jackal. The Jackals, or Kig Yar, are originally from a tiny natural satellite in the Yudea system named In. When they were living a somewhat peaceful life of piracy and mayhem, their system was discovered by a small fleet belonging to the Covenant. Fortunately for the Kig Yar, their system is commonly viewed as a total dump due to the abundance of stray asteroids, which caused many problems for the invading Covenant fleet. Dude, you drove us into an asteroid field! Will you just shut up already? We're losing shields! Let me drive! You touch this panel, I swear to God, you'll be on coordinating duty for a year! Many years before the explosive conclusion of the Human Covenant War, experts assumed that the Kig Yar happily served the Covenant for the same reasons the other species did. However, the negotiations didn't exactly go to plan as the Sankili quickly discovered that the Kig Yar didn't really put much stock in faith. <laughs> Years of piracy and murder had honed their deadly little skills and many common jackals quickly found themselves becoming hired snipers for the Covenant. It was a profitable time for the Kig Yar, and as the years passed by, they settled into their newfound role in the Covenant with very few problems. Unless, of course, you count the time where they tried to sterilize the grunt population of High Charity, leading to some very awkward medical appointments for many, many grunts. All right, Mr. Floppo. How can I help you today? Drugs! Need lots of drugs! Flambo can't get it up! Oh! If history has taught us anything, it's that in our universe, evolution is largely considered a cruel mistress. But when it comes to the Kig Yar, however, evolution deserves to be dragged, kicking and screaming through an alleyway and shot for giving precious life to such abominations. And since the Kigyar is made up of three subspecies, there's plenty of ugly to go around. Take these feathery freaks, for example. Some military folk have taken to calling them skirmishers, while saner individuals have taken to calling them exactly what they are, a major pain in the ass. Interestingly, out of the three Kigyar variants, the skirmishers are considerably less hideous, and as a result, they were swiftly removed from in and dumped on a nearby asteroid. Here's another subspecies of the Kig Yar that ought to have been thrown down a well at a young age. These jackals were seemingly late to the Covenant party, and as a result, missed out on the benefits of signing up with a very stupid government. But fret not, children, because these jackals, despite having very small brains, have managed to recruit themselves into several different post-war Covenant groups. A sort of Covenant Tribute Act, if you will. To say that these actions perplexed a few old-school warriors would be a colossal understatement. They're stupid. They want the Covenant back so they can get paid again. I think I know more than anyone that the Covenant leaders we're lying faces of shit. Hideous appearances aside, the Kig Yar are surprisingly talented little creatures when they want to be. Besides being gifted snipers, almost a little too gifted, all jackals have heightened senses allowing them to hear, smell, and see potential attackers from quite the distance. 